a startup. Yes, you've got us. And I'm with a very interesting company here. And I've got a Jeb Hart, managing partner of Gilid. Now get that name, that's a great brand, watch out for that. And Gilid Solutions, originally a Ge it's a German company. Is that right? Uh, right German, well, design. German design. German design, German design yes. but based in Hong Kong, like the best of both worlds. Okay, so tell us about your product uh, you've got here. Right, well, uh, it's a, basically it's a charging station. It's called right. the Zentry. Okay. And um, you can charge up to four different uh, mobile devices, so both tablets, mobile phones, wow. uh, smart watches, basically any device that, that you'd like. Wow, yeah, so you like a tablet here. Yep. I like it. You can put it this way, that way, any way, is that right? Any way you like, yes. I and, love it. Uh, we've got different colors, so there, it's a silicon top cover. Yes. Skin that you can change. Right. It's washable as well, so if it gets dirty, you can just wash it off. Um, the idea is you can put it either in your office, your home, your bedroom, uh, wherever you like. And can this come off? Yep, it just peels off from here. So you can see. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the function. Oh, that just peels off and then you can watch it. Wash it. Wash it, right? Wow. If you want to open it, you just press once here and once here. Yes. Okay. Open up. Wow. Hide the cables inside. That's so Put simple. Cable management inside there. Wow, so you can actually change yep. this. You can have uh, lightning cables. Uh, can use uh, micro USB cables, whatever you prefer. Wow, I like it how it's so decompactable and then put it back together and then pull it apart. Right, you yes. just plug it into the mains in the back. Right. So, uh, so the power supply okay. is all built into so, the device. So your power supply coming in, all right. And so let's have a look at some of the standards of the power. So we're talking about a 2.2 amp max. Right, so and the output total. Right, 9.6 amps. 9.6 So that can yeah. support four more charging units depending on how fast the rate of charging is. That's right. Yeah. Right. Wonderful. Oh, this is great. So tell us about your funding. Have you done any funding campaigns on this product? Uh, well, we, we launched, uh, we, we tried a funding campaign on uh, Indiegogo. Right. Uh, we found that a little bit challenging though. Uh, wow. Yeah. But uh, actually the, yeah. the product... Is it in process or finished? No, we completed right. that. And how many backers did you get? Not very many. Not many. Just a few. So you didn't reach the target? No, we didn't. Uh, so what happened when you got target in Indiegogo? Well, uh, with Indiegogo, um, we just uh, fulfilled the orders we got. Right. So uh, it doesn't mean the, 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 the campaign stops. Uh, basically right. Basically, just meant that. Uh, but it's we much less to... volume what you expected, right? Right. So how many did you get? Okay. I think we had a. Uh, nine or ten backers right okay uh, but they were still um, very important for us so they when yes. they when the product came out they we, sh we shipped the products out to them yes and, um, they're all really happy with it so it's a chance to get feedback from them right, right. so uh, my next question is yeah what two three things of feedback did you get from these backers uh, they wanted more colors more color uh, so we started with the green right it's very eye-catching okay so this uh, is, they, yes. wanted, they wanted more colors right and so uh, now we've got more colors right Okay. And uh, now the product's on Amazon, so uh, thanks to Global Sources, uh, yes. Launchpad, uh, you can find the product now on Amazon. Oh, so it's on Amazon now? Yeah. Sold directly from your company? Right. Right, okay, that's good, number two. What, any other feedback did the, these backers give you? Uh, they wanted more cables, uh, so they wanted more different cables. So we provide ah, just uh, USB okay. micro right. cables for um, uh, Samsung devices, but uh, the Apple users wanted uh, their lightning cables. Well, that's... You could, they could put their own cables in anyway, They could put their right? own cables. They wanted us to include the cables like out of the box. Or they wanted us to use, say, wireless charging. But with wireless charging, uh, yes. the charging speed is, is a lot slower. It is, so, true. Uh, and that's interesting when you say that because the Apple doesn't have a wireless charging in it. Right. The it's iPhone, you need to put a little sleeve underneath the iPhone uh, right. with a lightning cable and then you can do wireless. Right. Yes. Um, my, I need to introduce you to my friend in Charming Pop because he's uh, okay. had that challenge too because he's got a wallet where you put the phone in that charges while you carry it around so interesting so you've got color and they want different cables different and cables. any other feedback um, maybe quick charging features later on quick charging yeah. mm, okay yeah. well this is I like this I like it looks fun yeah it, it doesn't look too clinical right right and the build looks pretty strong like it's a way to yeah. sort of organize all yes. your mobile devices I in like one location it. instead yes. of using multiple. And when you're not using it, it doesn't yeah. look like a piece of rubbish sitting on right. the table. Right? <laughs> it looks like art, right? right. Possible. Yeah. And I'm just seeing right. you, you can actually buy the pops separately. You can, yes. Is that a new thing that you're doing now? Yes. Now that they say I want different colors, 
yes. you can just sell the silicon the silicon uh, skins we call them you will oh. be sold uh, separately and then they become accessories right like an accessory uh, and exactly. then then you have a whole family of accessories to go with the base product right. well, like like Zane is showing uh, like the, like a wood paint at the bottom wow I, I, uh, for your alpine cabin perhaps yes yeah, I like well. it wonderful so now you got to buy one of these for every room the yes house. <laughs> Like everyone has two or three of these devices these days. It's just, uh, right. well, amazing, amazing. So th those nine or 10 backers that you got turned out to be very, very valuable because right. they're giving you feedback on what, sure. and that's what it's all about at this stage. So what are you doing for the next stage now? Now you're on Amazon. Have you worked at trying to get a formal distributor getting into some Best Buy or, buy over in uh, in the US or other countries? Yes, we've been trying to um, uh, to get into uh, more retail channels as well. Um, yeah, it's proving a little bit challenging. Uh, it seems um, retailers are a bit con concerned about the size of the, the product. It comes in a box, oh, uh, which is fairly large. The box is too big. Uh, the box is too big. Uh, right. so they want smaller, smaller products, uh, oh. especially like in Hong Kong, for example. Uh, Can you package it so the silk? No, it can't. It just sticks out, doesn't it? Right. Unfortunately, okay. it's, it's quite a bulky product, so that's the challenge. Yeah. All right. So we've got, oh, that's we've got another one, like the fours over there, the black. Right. Uh, charge, which is smaller, and, and okay. uh, that that seems to be a bit. That's a bit, a bit That bigger. is a very interesting thing for startups that are watching this. That the size of the product has become a challenge for you in pitching to distributors. Yes. Because they think, okay, how uh, if we buy a hundred of these. How much space is that 100 going to take up? In the stores or yeah. in the warehouses, yeah. Yeah, and then that costs money to hold. Right. Wow, I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. Wow, any other feedback the distributors give you? Do they want a Planto Grand to go with this? In other words, something I, when you go in the store, they talk about the, was it the 10 feet rule and the three, feet, three foot rule, something like that. So 10 feet away, you're attracted to it. You can see certain features that, oh, I want to know more. Then you get to three feet and then you see all the detail. The distributors talk to you about that? The Planto Not brand? really, no. No, okay. no. Okay, have a talk to Nanoleaf. They, okay. They're around here somewhere because okay. they, they've they cracked it in terms of getting into some of the big retail shops in the USA. But it wasn't just their product, but they had the Planto brand, the way that the product is displayed. So when you go to the distributors, you're not just pitching the product, you're pitching the whole display. And then distributors, they can picture how that looks in the shop. And then it's easy for distributors to go and, and then pitch that to their market. So interesting. I'm not expert, but just talking to other startups, this is some of the feedback that we're getting. So, okay, one last question. Yeah. Where is this made? Oh, it's made in China. Okay. Yeah. Sinjin? Uh, yes. Bowan? Uh, somewhere in Sunjin. That's right, yeah. Okay. Pretty close. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere, somewhere, in somewhere. Okay, that's fine. Right. And why I said Sunjin, have you had direct connection with the manufacturer of this, or is there some other partner that works with the manufacturer? Uh, no, we've worked directly with the manufacturer. Okay. So, yes, can uh, what has been your biggest challenge in making this product? Um, I guess in sort of uh, managing the supply chain. So even uh, so, it's the silicon comes from a different supplier. Right. The cables come from a different supplier. The power cord comes from a different supplier. So it's uh, it looks like a relatively simple product, but there are actually uh, a lot of different components that go into it. That's uh, that's the challenge. That's it. Oh, so you couldn't, and the plastic comes from a different supplier. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, can I just ask you about the manufacturing process? So. Who does the final assembly? You, do you have an EMS provider that does yes. that? So basically, one supplier is bringing in silicon, one bringing in the plastic, power cords, and the EMS puts it all together. Right. And okay. then it's also tested, and uh, there's a sort of right. uh, time it takes for like a, I suppose you could call it like a burn-in. Well, uh, that's make sure very sure important. Burn-in is basically yeah. just running it for non-stop for eight hours, 10 hours, and actually having units, and actually just working it right working it to the ground to see if there's any temperature problems and charging problems and things like that right wonderful wonderful and also there's always cable testing and things like that wonderful wonderful what 
so the biggest challenge is actually sort of what would it be? Because EMS would actually take care of a lot of the coordination challenges, right? Like, did you go to the EMS provider and say, this is what we want to make, and then they actually chose, oh, I know where you can get this made, I know where you can get this made, I know where you can get this, leave it to us. Or did you tell them, please go to A, B, and C and get them to source from them? I'd say it was a little bit of both. Right. So they sometimes they provide us feedback with their existing uh, suppliers right. for cables. And sometimes we said no, we'd rather use our own supplier for right. packaging materials or the blister. Um, yes. so it was a little bit of both, that's it. Right. So on the packaging, yeah. that's totally, you know, that's on a separate issue yeah. because sometimes you want to hide that from the suppliers so they don't go and... Right. Or we have an up. existing relationship with a right. supplier that's kind of that's maybe more with, a, with another or, product. Right. You've been there and yes. done that before, haven't you? Yes, with other products. All right, before, so yeah. that helps. All right, they're not the first yeah. to go into China and start manufacturing, so you've used that experience. Right. But even with that experience, you had some. Give us one or two headaches that you had. Uh, one well, or two well, specific things. When you're starting something new. Um, the quantities that some suppliers may ask for may be far higher than you could right. start off with. You mean the again. sub suppliers or the EMS? Uh, the sub suppliers. Sub suppliers? Yes. So, uh, so what quantities were they talking about in minimum? Uh, well, sometimes the, the a power cord could be a minimum cord, the starting point could be 10,000 units wow. uh, for a power cord. Then okay. that's why, where it comes in handy to work oh. with someone that. So, yes, yes. So yeah. we're talking about the cord that plugs into here. Yeah. Yes, okay, uh, all right. They all have to be certified and there's a, there's a minimum order quantity for that. Right. So, um, yeah, co that, that can be tricky at first, but... 10,000. Um, yeah. Yeah. At other times, it's, uh, it's not so much of a problem. Right, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, it's good if you've got multiple products, because then you can use the same power cord for multiple. Yes. If you, they all have power. Right. And then what about the MOQs for the one that provides silicon plastic? Do you have any problem with them? Uh, not really. I mean, we've got like inquiries for uh, companies that want to have their own logo on the product, like, oh. have, uh, or, or change have, the, have a specific color for that. Right. Um, the MOQ for that is about a thousand units. Right. Okay. Uh, that, that is that. The restriction is the silicon supply. Now, so, now this is yeah. silicon. This is silicon, right? Right. Silicon. Rubber. So technically, uh, you're selling into the U.S. Yes. So therefore, it has to have FDA approval. Really, it's not a. Uh, like a say a wearable product, so it doesn't right. come in contact with your skin. It, it's not a uh, product that needs like a FDA approval. Oh, okay. So you didn't uh, need more like you uh, didn't. the electronics, which needs to be. Uh, oh, approved. okay. So you didn't need to have that part of approved. No. Oh, okay. All right. So it matters. Silicon generally does have to, but great point about silicon with wearables is different from silicon on a separate product right. like this. Okay. So. Wonderful, wonderful. I really appreciate your patience with all my questions. Amazing product. Let's just review this again. We've got all these wires at the back. We've got one single power goes in at the front. We have all the right compliance standards, U, UL and CE. It doesn't do wireless, so it doesn't need FCC yet, but if you put wireless in there in the future, yeah. And you're going to have FCC and everything like that. How much are we selling this for again? Uh, it's on Amazon at uh, 49 US dollars. Sorry, I took so long in this interview to get to the price. <laughs> so thank you for waiting. Maybe if we <laughs> put it in at the front. 49 US dollars Amazon at the moment. That's right. Are there any variations of that? Like you can buy the silicon separately for different colors? Um, not yet. That, that'll right. come soon. Okay. So still... 49 US dollars. Yeah. And where do people go to buy this, what brand are they looking for on Amazon? Are they looking for Gilead uh, or, or is there another Zentry. brand? Or uh, uh, they can just uh, type in uh, Zentry, so oh. that's the name of the product. Okay, let's get this here, Zentry, Zentry. So right. the actual product is called Zentry. Zentry. Yeah. Okay, Zentry, and Jepard's been in Hong Kong for a long time, and master of sourcing, based on what I learned something from you today, <laughs> and there's their product. So check this out on Amazon and check out Zentry and also look out for Gilead solutions for your other products that you have in the future. Right. And thank you for coming to the launch pad. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. And thank you for coming. And uh, this is O'Connor at Startup Launchpad.
catch you in the next booth. Bye for now.